Let's hit something world. This is AJ with Tips and Tricks Tuesday. Today we're talking about cymbal striking technique. I see a lot of talk on drumming sites about breaking cymbals and they're usually caused about poor technique and a bad approach to cymbal strikes. I'm not saying I'm a technique guru, but I do get a decent life out of my cymbals even though I strike hard almost all the time. Before we get into striking the cymbal, I want to discuss how the cymbal is seated. We want our thinner cymbals like splashes and crashes to sit loosely and on a slightly downward angle if they are even to or above our shoulder height while we're seated. If they sit too tight, the energy of our impacts won't have anywhere to go and the cymbal will have to absorb the brunt of the impact. And let's not forget that energy equals tone and warmth out of a cymbal. By seating the cymbal on a slightly downward angle, we are setting ourselves up for good technique with our strikes. We want to strike the thinner cymbals in a glancing downward motion on the top portion of the cymbal near the rim with the shoulder of our stick. This allows the energy of the impact to travel around the entire edge of the cymbal. The thicker cymbals, like hi-hats and rides, can be hit a few different ways to elicit a few different tones. We can hit with the head of our stick to get a bright, defined response, or we can use the shoulder of our stick to get a warmer, rounder, washy tone. I like to play around with my technique and placement of my hits to get the most out of my ride and hi-hats. Play around and see what works best for you in certain situations. Thanks for watching. Next week I'll explore how to execute, control, and employ power quads. Until then, live right, drum well, and have fun. I'm AJ Nystrom, and I'll see you next week.